the hell? this video I'm sorry for talking like that but this kind of teeth on my lips so if you want to see how I created this look inspired by the walking dead so keep on watching first what you're gonna need is a bald cap and a mastix to stick it onto your forehead the next thing you're gonna need some famo polymer clay to build the teeth so basically you just sculpt the teeth, but not just the upper part, but also uh, the lower part too, to later stick it with the mastix on your lips. I sculpted around six teeth for my jaw, but you can also make the upper part or how many you want it to stick from the zombie. After you sculpted um, all the teeth you just kind of distress them a little bit with your nails so they won't look perfectly like perfect and more tumbish then you're gonna bake the teeth in your oven um, f uh, for 20 minutes I baked them a little longer to make them brown so next thing you're gonna need tissue paper, some liquid latex and some sponges. What you're gonna do is to tear the tissue paper up and then separate it into layers and smaller pieces. Then you're gonna apply a first layer of latex onto your skin and it smells really chemically so it kind of burned my eye so yeah you're basically gonna like don't apply it around your eyes that much then after first layer you're gonna put a tissue paper and another layer of latex be sure that everything is saturated because otherwise it just would like bubble up and wouldn't look like skin So then after each couple of layers you have to dry the latex to make it like a, like a, a gumish, like rubber, yeah, rubbery. So then you apply the layers and layers and layers everywhere when, where the zombie skin would be seen. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do for next three hours, right? Yeah, don't forget to Instagram what you're doing, right? Then I covered up my mouth and put the latex on my lips so I can cut my mouth open later and look more zombie-like-ish and not that clean. And I also watched The Walking Dead next to doing this, so that was fun. Not the movie, but making this look, right? So then I put latex on my neck and this is a tip so don't put latex on your hair because when you rip it off it will hurt like a mm -hmm. so you put the latex and you have to layer it right you remember that then I cut my mouth open and be careful with the step because the latex is still on your skin so you kind of pull the latex away and then carefully cut some holes so it looks like your mouth is a little bit ripped and there are some wounds. It's easily to pull the latex skin uh, when you have a couple, like, couple more layers because it's more thicker. Um, that's why it hurts like a bitch to pull it away at the edges and not that much in the middle of my face. 
so you kind of pull a couple bones and make skin a little bit loose yep and then I took my Faber Castell body paints in black and painted some um, like deeper spots on my face with black so it looks more three-dimensional 3d no three-dimensional then I took a foundation it doesn't matter which one to make my skin look more skinnish kind of um, so I put that everywhere where the tissue paper is and kind of rub it into my new skin So the, the bald cap was a little too small for my big old head and you kind of see my hair next to my, like over my ears and I used it later as a style, like helper so I will make it not my flaw but my special effect zombie kind of like that, if you get it so then I pull skin around my eyes a little bit and paint it black. Later I also gonna paint my um, waterline with black liner to deeper more my eyes. Then you just put black kind of everywhere to make it a little bit dirty and not so foundation like. So just kind of yeah you just make it a little bit dirty and don't forget to put it onto your ears because even when the ears wouldn't be shown but make sure that they don't stick out as clean It took me a couple layers of the black paint because it was a paint so it just wasn't that opaque and then I yeah those are my yellow overbaked teeth I waited till they cold and then with the help of mastix the spirit gum I placed them into my mouth So if you like be sure not to pull your mouth latex too much so the teeth um, could stick there and stay in place and not just hang. I place my teeth um, randomly but if you have more you can have like a um, order which I didn't have I just put what I thought would um, look cute then I decided to pull my nose a little bit because it looks kind of too clean and then I also fill it with black paint to give it more depth Uh, the blood I use is from Creolan HD blood and the other one is from Creolan um, called the Dark Venus blood and I kind of filled the spots where I was wounded and first I used the dark blood and kind of let it let it flow over my face and just saying don't get this blood into your eyes because that's actually alcohol and it would hurt like a bitch so be careful I use the tissue paper to stop the blood uh, from running into my eyes so be careful then a little bit onto my nose and kind of my teeth so it looks like I ate somebody be 
make sure you wearing you are wearing clothes they are not very important because the blood can get everywhere so first I let it run and then I kind of um, put it a little bit everywhere to make it look a little bit more messy now I'm using the other blood which is a little bit more liquid and I put it where I could be dirty from eating another person what if that would be my boyfriend? I don't have one but that would be cool right? So this is the look and I pulled a little bit of my hair and system to look a bit more crazy. So as you see the skin it looks fine, it looks really alive I would say. So it moves around in not just a stiff mask.